What's up guys? So today I'm going to be teaching you how to cover one of these giant face demons. For small blemishes I usually don't go like way too out of my way to cover them because I don't want to add additional product but when you have ones like this you kind of have to handle the situation. And I'm going to teach you how to do that. So I'm going to prime my skin with my usual primers. I love using the Nivea Post Shave Balm in Sensitive and the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Primer. I'd like to start out with my Nivea Post Shave Balm in Sensitive. I like to use this as more of like my makeup extender and it does help moisturize the skin as well. And I just put some... <sighs> And I just pour some on the back of my hand and I just work it into my skin kind of the same way I would a moisturizer. Let's make sure we coat this thing. I'm just going to go ahead and pop on my Dr. Brandt pores no more. I add this more in like the T-zone area where I have visible pores just to fill them in. I'm going to work this over my little pimple too because that's a big angry pore and really press that in and that will fill the pore. Please excuse my nails. I just honestly didn't have the time or the want to paint my nails today because they always look like crap anyways when I'm finished. And when I have one of these big red angry pimples I like to go in with a green correcting concealer first. So today I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is a HD high definition concealer. This is the green corrector shade and it does say it neutralizes red. I don't do too much color correcting on my channel because I don't really use it that often because I do have a pretty even skin tone typically, but I do keep this on hand for occasions such as this. I also like to use like salmon shades underneath my eyes when I have really bad dark circles like now and I kind of have to like mix this product I don't know the when I have like water keeps shooting out of it every time I try to get some out so I'm squeezing it very well so I'm actually going to take some out of my hand I don't want to add it directly to my blemish because then we're gonna get some nasty bacteria on the brush tip applicator. I'm just going to take some of that with my brush. You don't need that much. It's just hard to get that out. Let me get you guys as close as I can. So now that we are up close and personal with my under eye circles and my big nasty pimple, I'm going to go ahead and take some of this green corrector on my brush and I'm going to tap it onto the pimple. Tapping is a very important step. Tapping allows more coverage. And then I'm going to take an even smaller brush and just basically blend out the edges of that. So I have a decent amount of product sitting on the blemish. So now we're gonna go on with concealer. For concealer, I'm loving the Becca Compact Concealer. This is in the shade Sherbert. This comes in a tiny little thing like this. It has two sides and obviously I use the one side more than the other. This is the medium coverage side that I like to use for my brows. The other side is full coverage which I do use on my blemishes. Like I said I don't go too crazy on covering my blemishes but when it's needed. So I wiped off the green concealer that was on that same flat brush that we used before. It's just like a dense flat brush and really pack on product. So I'm going in and getting some of this concealer and this one on this side is a lot thicker of a texture which is why it's great for covering pimples because once you put it on there it won't be removed from your foundation application. Alright so we're just going to pack this right on top with kind of dabbing motions. So now I do have a decent amount of that and again I'm just going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to blend out the edges.
If you use a thinner consistency, it's just going to slip and move around and be picked up whenever you add foundation on top. So basically, we're going to leave the product just sitting here and it will dry and then I'll put foundation and everything else on top of it and I will come back and show you the finished product. So now I'm doing foundation and I'm basically just tapping the foundation around and then I buff it in with a wet beauty sponge um, and I'm tapping the product kind of around our blemish. I don't want it to get completely saturated and wet with the foundation. I don't want it to move the concealer that's already on but I am going to put some around it that way when I blend it it will go on top. I'm going to add a little bit more moisture to our sponge that way we know it's not going to be absorbing any of the foundation we're about to add on top of this concealer and I'm just going to take some of the foundation directly onto the sponge and I'm going to tap it right on top of the concealer that we already added. So with the same sponge we just used I'm going to grab some of the Kat Von D powder is that so I'm done with all my makeup and can you guys see my thank you for watching I'll see you guys next time bye hey guys welcome to what's up guys so today it's quite obvious what hopefully we're doing today we're going to be What's up guys? So today I'm going to be covering dun dun dun.